Hey, how you doing? My name is Mark Pulisovic, and you're wondering how to become a businessman. The answer is simple. I read a lot, read a lot, learn a lot. I mean, Warren Buffett said it himself. He said, it's good to learn from your mistakes. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes. There's no better way to learn from other people's mistakes than to read, than to seek out mentors and to seek out people who are successful in what it is that you're doing and learn from their mistakes, learn from what they did wrong so you don't have to do the same thing. That's exactly what I do every day of my life. I read different books. I'm reading a book by Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, and he has a thick, thick book, a huge life story of him sharing all his mistakes, all his successes, all his ways of thinking, all his beliefs, all his ideas, and all that stuff is constantly being poured into my head. So it can't do anything but good for me, for my, me and my dreams of becoming a truly, truly successful, highly successful entrepreneur. So it's a beautiful thing that we can it's a beautiful time period we live in that you have your, you just found me on YouTube. Most likely you can search Warren Buffett, um, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, some of these great businessmen, you can search and listen to them speak and share and take in their ideas. That's the best way to become a businessman, a truly successful businessman, learning from the best of the best in anything that is that you do. So I'm also in the home-based business industry. I have my own business that I work from home. I'm doing this in my living room and I, my, my office is in my room over there with my computer. All I need is a laptop and a computer. Even if you don't live anywhere, you can go to a library and build a business here. That's an amazing thing, an amazing time period that we live in today. So you definitely have the opportunity to become a truly successful businessman. Today, I'm going to be here to help you out, show you some great people to learn from, some of the best of the best. And we have, I partnered, because I love learning from the best of the best, I've managed to surround myself with the best of the best in the home-based industry. So what I have right below this video is a link that I'm going to take you to. Just click it right below, hbl.nxt-school.com. It's going to take you to a free report I created for you that shows you seven essential ideas of building a home-based business from anywhere in the world. And you're also going to be able to watch a video that my partners, those same top-notch industry leaders, are sharing exactly why our business is, why we believe it's the best of the best, how our business works, and what we do to to spread our business, basically. And hopefully it's something that you're interested in, and hopefully you're 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 ready to get, to get that journey of truly becoming a successful businessman. Either way, I thank you, and hopefully this video is of value to you. Thank you once again for taking time to watch this video, and hopefully I can talk to you soon. Take it easy. Hey guys, Justin Conoco from theclosers.ca here and Grogan Conoco Real Estate Brokerage. Just wanted to give you our August market update. So the month of July, 934 homes sold, which was actually 4.7% down from the previous year, but the previous year had actually been the best July that we had since 2007. So don't let those numbers skew you too, too much. Uh, market's been very, very active. Um, the best selling type of home is actually a two story and then followed by a bungalow and then a ranch, which is a little fun fact for you. And the average sale price of a home is 283,900 or $283,593. So London, London, Ontario is still considered to be one of the most affordable places to live in. And those numbers kind of reflect that. Um, another thing we just wanted to bring up is a small little legal brief um, pertaining to investment property. We read an article recently about how a lot of people try and do document occupancy in investment properties, thinking that if they send their address or their driver's license to a certain address that they can get away with that um, as far as a capital gains tax exemption when it comes time to sell the property. What that means is if you own a piece of real estate that's an investment and you live in one of the units and it's your primary unit and you go to sell that, you're actually exempt from capital gains tax. But if you have a couple holdings and you're making a commercial profit from that and you go to sell them, you have to pay what's called capital gains tax because it's basically proceeds from running a business. Going back to what I was saying about document occupancy is some people try and play with the system and basically just send mail there and say, oh, you know what, I'm living in the upper unit so that when I go to sell it, I can get away with not paying the capital gains tax. But a fact that I need you guys to be aware of is two years ago, the CRA actually cracked down on that. They did 600 audits of people and actually over, I think almost half of those were actually convicted. And the fine for doing that is actually double the capital gains tax. So something to be aware of if you're in the invested market and you're looking at different ways to structure your company or maybe get some tax exemptions, you know, maybe something to think about is sitting down with a good lawyer and structuring a company that that's what they do that's what the company does and you can put the money back into the company and save your money taxes that way there's there's a lot of different ways to skin that cat 
let us know. We actually have some really good professionals that can guide you along. As far as that's concerned, we can sell you guys the property and then we can set you up with the right people to make sure that you're getting all the exemptions you should get and paying you know, the proper amount of tax versus not overpaying your taxes as well. So if you guys have any questions, you know, we're always here, 519-860-6547 or info at theclosers.ca. Take care. So this is part of my morning ritual. Usually I will wake up this in hand.